Yes, this is what you've been waiting for. Good old honest to goodness City Skylines 2 gameplay. I've picked a map, Archipelago Haven, which is filled with islands, water and mountains with plenty of opportunity to show off some of the new gameplay and new features. This is the first of my City Skylines 2 preview videos with more to come, so be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss out on seeing the next one. And just to remind everybody, this is beta gameplay, pre-release gameplay, some things will be subject to change, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of changes before release day. So here we are in the starting tile. Let's take a look at what we're going to be working with for our very first ever City Skylines 2 City. Here we go, the very start of the tile, and we've got this lovely intersection that we're going to be working with, with a funky little roundabout on the end, which is going to be coming in very handy indeed. Let's just see how big the starting square is. So, probably a little bit smaller than City Skylines 1, but certainly large enough for our purposes. We can see how much money we've got available. We've got no progression yet. We're going to be aiming for Tiny Village, which is not a population threshold. It's now an XP threshold. So as we start building, we are going to be getting XP. Uh, do we have to place down a little road to unlock other roads? No, we do not. We have a lot of starting roads available to us. Uh, we also have a teeny tiny roundabout, which is this one we've got here. You can tell it's the same size if you hover over and it lights up green in the middle. If you place one of these down, it will sort of distort and show that it's going to be made bigger. So, yeah. Whoa, that is a lot of zooming out. So, <laughs> we are ready to go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this road down this way. Um, hopefully, we've got the landscaping option available at the beginning. We do. We don't have any terrain lines available at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to level out this terrain just so we've got a nice flat area to work on and it's going to get a bit hawky borky in a few places but we can work on that so don't worry so just to show you the other tools that we've got that's been pushed back all the way and the nice soften tool if you just sort of go over the top of that you can see it's not too much of an issue and down here big piece of land we can sort of smooth that out there we go and that'll eventually go green excellent so let's add our first road in we're going to just build this one out down to here and what i would like to do is eventually curve that around there and sneak past the mountain sort of area that way so we'll do that for now and we're also going to add another larger road coming out this way it's going to be a very basic setup in the beginning this is going to be our residential area excellent and this over here is going to be our industry area and again i'm just going to level out this piece of land uh, so it goes from looking like this to like this. There we go. Just to give us a little something to play with. So again, we're just going to take that road. I'm just going to bring that out to over there. There we go. I mean, we can mess around with the height of all these roads and all sorts of things. But I've literally got the video that I'm allowed to, to make for you. I mean, I can spend as much time as I like on it. Um, but it can only be in half an hour video, which is what you're going to see. I bet your subscription feed is inundated uh, with videos. By the way, let me just show you this. Upgrading road. Drag it the way you want it to go. So you click anywhere and just drag the direction and it will change that, which is good. Uh, we've got traffic lights here, but at the minute I have no options uh, to change those. So they're going to just stay as they are. Um, we'll get a bit of industry going in there in a moment. And then I'm going to use the tool here that makes a grid. So we're going to take this road, I'm going to line that up, and this is the same road that I'm drawing on that I'm going to be doing the grid with. And as long as you sort of keep that lined up, we should be able to go straight out. Excellent. And if I've done it right, it's all nicely lined up everywhere. Very good. Of course, we can't get any people moving in until we get our power and our water sorted out. Now, with this map here, we do have power coming in from outside of the map just down here there we go so we've got this power line coming in from all the way outside it snakes away and we can make use of that um that is just going to help us as we grow our city so i'm going to grab a transformer so i'm not going to be spending um yeah i think i'll just put it on the side here i'm not going to be spending my own money uh building there we go coal power plants we've got the small coal power plant available i am gonna no i don't want to do that i'm going to import all of the power 
There we go. So we're going to pop that on there. And that's attaching now to the power lines, as you can see, underneath the road. And they go all the way along, all the way over here. But they don't go on this one because this is a highway. So you just need to make sure that we hook those up. So I'm going to do page down, hook those onto there. And that's going to go straight across. And that's going to connect our entire grid. You're also going to need to do that with the water as well. Because the highways don't include all the pipes. There we go. So, I mean, you can hook that up where you like, but that's fine. The water, we're not going to use the water towers. They get very expensive. So, I'm going to put in a little couple of pumping stations. I'm going to do one. We're going to have one there. Just so it stays away from that, I'm going to put the sewage outlet over here. And what we might find, the way this water's sort of going, it'll all sort of stay in that area and not get anywhere near anything else. And then we can connect up. This one just needs a sewage pipe connected. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this around the water here. There we go. As if this is like a little service road. And then we should be able to just bring that up into here. I'll do a little bit of terraforming. So we've got the slope terrain tool as well. I'm going to bring that down. Right click there. Left click here. Smooth that down. Just to give us a little bit of something to work with. And then we can hook that straight into there. That'll work nicely. Excellent. Let me just sort out the power issue. There we go. Now the power is underneath the road where it belongs, as some might say. So we've got the power sorted. We've got the water sorted. We have no option of dropping the tax rates yet. We're going to be going with a European style just because we've got European and we've got the North American style. And I thought being from Europe myself, we'll just sort of see how this goes. So I'm just going to chuck in a load of those. Um, I also want commercial along here. So let me just draw in some of that. I'm going to keep it away from this road here. And then we're going to get some industry demand that's going to pop up as well. So I'm going to pop that off the back of this road. And we'll just give that all a second to grow in and see what that looks like. Here we go. Buildings are appearing. Let's have a look down here. So we've got some nice shops that have appeared in. We've got population moving in, which is good. Let's have a look over here at our industry. Oh, all the trucks are coming in to start working on our industrial area, which is good. Some nice different looking buildings over here and they're still popping in. So that to me looks like a warehouse that's just appeared there. No, it's a company. So you'll get the buildings popping in like this. And then you've got to wait for the companies to move in. So this one has a company that's move, moved in. Ivatsu. And these are the items they want. This is what they are going to produce. And at the minute, everything is pretty much on a level playing field. I've not got access to taxes. I've not manipulated anything or changed anything. We will get what we get. Oh, look, they're going in the gates. There we go, dropping stuff off. Brilliant. And we've got huge demand. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a load more roads down and see if we can get ourselves up to the next progression. By the way, you may have noticed the name. We are naming this city Tea Haven. We're going to save Tealand, New Tealand, New New Tealand for a future city build in the full release of the game. But for now, Tea Haven is the name. So if it was up to me, I wouldn't do anything off camera because I know that you just want to see everything about this new game. But unfortunately, we are limited to 30 minutes. So it is a very much a case of trying to show off as much of the game as possible within that time. So that is what I'm going to do. I would like some shops along here, but I don't want them off the main road. So I'm going to zone. Let's do that one. Miss the one at the end and go like that. We're almost at the next progression milestone, which is good. And the more we go through filling our demands, then the more the other demands will pick up as well. We are growing in people, which is good. We're losing a little bit of money, but we're not doing too badly. I just think a couple more roads and we're going to be there. Now, a little trick if you want to help with your traffic and increase your progression is roundabouts. They give you 10 XP each, as we can see down there. So we're going to add one there. We're going to add one there. We are so close. Oh, my goodness me. I think one here and one there. Oh, my goodness. What is that? One XP left. I'm going to take a piece of road and I'm going to do that. So we've hit the first milestone. Tiny village. We're going to get 600,000 credits. We're going to get one development point and we're going to get three expansion permits. Let's have a look at a progression panel. So that's unlocked a load of things. I would avoid taking out loans if you can at all 
possibility because they're so expensive. We've got map tiles, we've got access to the budget, city statistics, different medium types of housing, which as you can see, we now have a need for those. Some extra roads, which it's listing there bridges we get the basics in healthcare the basics in garbage and we can see the options that we've got here now it's a little bit different from city skylines one even though we've now got these options available um the sims don't just suddenly want them like straight away one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm gonna go back five i'm gonna go oh, i know what's gonna happen i'm gonna go in like that i'm gonna wait for these to zone and i'm gonna add the outside here we go, and that'll take up some of the medium demand that we've got there. So as we add these, that's going to increase the land value, which is going to make rent more expensive. So, you know, I'm going to sort of hold fire on that at the moment. I'm trying to sort of keep my money balance, and things will get expensive quickly. Still no access to any of these. We've got to get to large village or grand village. Small village will be taxation, which is good. And we're getting our government subsidies to keep things bumbling along which is what we want so i'm going to just get some of these houses growing along the front here fulfilling our demand and you will notice as the game progresses as well you'll get uh, little bits of xp that will just pop up from um just the way the game works they'll say oh someone's uh, people are a bit happier so we'll give you some xp for that and um various points during the day you will get extra little bumps to your xp which is good i meant to not zone this one right at the end here which is fine because i didn't want to destroy any buildings i want to get as close as we can to along here yeah that building's going to go very sorry didn't mean to do that excellent but yeah this thing is going up it's going down it's doing all the things so that is good so what i'm going to do here i'm going to get the end ones growing in first there we go now i can do that and i can do that and they can start growing in which is good and now we're going to get these nice european looking buildings along the front here everybody's parking their car outside and now also we should have the option to unlock some things in the development uh, window so we can get access to roundabouts at the minute small roundabouts are going to be fine advanced road services we are going to unlock those there we go and i'm just going to show you what other options we have There we go as we go along so any services we're not fulfilling at the moment it's going to be shipped to outside to other cities roundabout so we're going to right click on there and we should have another one along here somewhere right click on there we don't want that the roundabouts are okay as they are roundabouts will come with uh, give way or yield signs on there and here's all the people moving in oh do you know what we haven't done let's just pause a minute grab this person here cliff shepherd He's Mr. Hugo there. We're going to rename him. And we're going to follow him. We're going to add him to our list down here. And we're going to get lots of information about Hugo there. He works at Bark Mill Tannery, which we can have a look at, oh, which is all the way over there. Excellent. Uh, where does he live? Let's go back to Hugo there. 95 Emerson Street. So he lives all the way over here. So what's he doing over there? He's like wandering around visiting things which is fine i don't mind that but we really want to make it easier for people to get over there which we will have a look at in a moment so we're making money which is good we've also now got access to all of these options as well so this one here what i like to do is remove so i'm right clicking remove the crossings right by a roundabout uh, and right by a junction you've got crossings all over the place little ones like this are fine uh, on the little roads like that on the bigger roads yeah we're going to be removing them just to help people keep moving and then we have wider sidewalk so i'll give you i'm going to upgrade all of these ones down here to wider sidewalks i can left click and drag that one that one that one all the way along there and that's upgraded that side i could then do if i wanted the other side with grass so i'm going to left click and drag all the way to the end there we go and if i wanted to add trees it's the same all the way along. So what I'm going to do is add trees onto this side. Oh, you can have trees with the wider sidewalk. Oh, I didn't realise that. I prefer it with the, the green strip in there. So I'm going to add that in. There we go. Excellent. So I'm going to add trees and the green strip to all of my horizontal roads here and here. And I'm going to leave parking on the vertical roads. 
There we go. They've all been upgraded. I'm just thinking by the shops here, we could just upgrade one side of the road. So I'm going to do the side of the road nearest the shops, give it a wide sidewalk. So that means we can only have parking on the opposite side of the road. So maybe a bit safer if you're shopping, having the wide sidewalk there. Um, this one's all got trees by anyway. We don't have any shops over in this area. And we do have a bit of a demand. So let's add in some shops over here. And we might just get those. Let's just do something a little bit different. We're going to add those to this section up there. Excellent. So now I want to help people get from their work. Oh, we didn't add it in any more industry, did we? Let's just plop that in. Uh, from their work to home to vice versa uh, we're not going to be unlocking transportation until grand village so that is a little way off um, i'm just wondering whether we could just do a little bit with these roads because we've got the new cut and fill roads which work really well to sort of put a concrete barrier there let me just do that and make this look a little bit nicer and i'll show you how to do it do you know what i don't have access to highways so i don't have access to this road so i'm going to just hang fire on that for now and show you when i can but some of the other options that we've got here is all sorts of bridges and things um so maybe we could just get a little let's have a look pedestrian arch bridge going over the top of here There we go. I think that will work nicely for now. You'll notice as well, if I just remove this final piece here, you can place your path. Uh, we're going to take that up to the side of the road, or you can place your path up to the road and into the road, and it will make a crossing. So you do have some control over where your crossings appear, which is good. So we are still making money, which is good. We are still growing. Uh, we need to take care of some of our demands. And we've got our first little pop-up here. Not enough customers. Oh, it's still in the game. What are we going to do about that? Well, we don't need to worry too much about that because we are going to expand again. And we're going to use some of our map tile token thingies. So this is everything we can buy. We do have a decent amount of money. I would like to stretch down to here, over to here, and this one as well. Not too expensive. So we are going to purchase those and expand a little bit more. So before I draw in some new roads, I'd like to show you the new cut and fill option. So I've flattened this area out here, I and mean, it's left us with this dirty great big piece of dirt up against the road here. So this is what we can do. I am going to delete that stretch of road there just to give you an idea of what's going on and hopefully if that is close enough if i get this road and just draw that straight in there we go we can see it's added a little cut and fill wall it looks a bit ugly as it is there but what you can do is you can straighten out the road uh, sorry flatten out the land i should say and there we go we're going to get some of that cut and fill wall that's right up against this we'll monkey around with the edges of that so if we get that nice and flat and straight all the way down here, it's almost like that effect of a key wall up against a road instead of that piece of land. So it should then look like this. Oh, and while I'm working on that, we've now hit the small village milestone. We'll take a look at that to see what options we're getting now. So again, we've got a bigger loan limit, access to taxation. Our money is going to start skyrocketing. Some medium density buildings, education, which is elementary and high school. And we have development points, which is really what we wanted. Could go for highway, could go for parking. I'm not going to bother with electricity and water for a while. We're okay for those. And we've got the basic healthcare we haven't even placed down yet. So I am going to save those points. Ooh, so tempting to get roundabouts. No, I'm going to save them for when I really want them. So before we add in more houses and things, let's have a look at our schools. So I'd like to give coverage uh, to all of these people up um, over here. And I'm thinking having this backing up against the mountain would be quite nice. Well, mountain. It's a big hill with a castle on the top. So we're going to pop the elementary school there, which would definitely cover most of this area, which will be good. 
and then the high school i'm just thinking perhaps of having that a little bit further away in this spot here so let's just build out this road down here we're going to come off of that roundabout and we'll go out an arbitrary length like that and i think that should give us i'm going to turn off the info view enough space to have that sort of up against the road there we go but access for all of these lovely people that live in both areas as well and these are really nice models i like these got benches and trees and all sorts of things in there we've got car parking built in and we can hear people are upgrading because they're loving what we've got now we have our first person waiting for a hearse it's not hugo there is it hugo there's still okay not much going on with hugo there really <laughs> well why don't we put in some of the medical services and things as we can afford that as well so i'm going to pop that in here off of this main road but just sort of set back a bit we're going to go like that we're going to turn that around excellent and then what we should be able to do is pop that in there and unfortunately the only death care we have is cemetery which is pretty massive as you could see i'd like to get the crematorium so let's just see whether we have enough options to unlock that we do so we're going to grab the crematorium so you can see already the different options that you get when you're playing the game which is good i want to leave some space for parking in there so i'm going to do it like that and we have no zones or districts at the moment that is just going to cover everybody everywhere and i'm sure very quickly that call is going to go out over here for a hearse and they will go over and help with that which will be good i also want to get rid of these traffic lights i was about to do it the old way there did you notice no we're in city skylines too we're going to do that which will now automatically place a giveaway sign at the end oh pizza delivery excellent we may as well just add some other roads in and get some of our zoning done as well oh new signature building the pop musician mansion now i do love these signature buildings because they give us lots of options if we jump into here we we're always going to have that little green triangle showing us we've got something extra to add and we've got plus two well-being within 500 meters so anywhere would be good for this um, I'm just sort of thinking, could it's a larger building? He might sort of want to be over here with that nice view up to the ruins we've got up there. So I'm just thinking of popping that at the end of this road over here. And we've got that nice signature building. He's got oh, horses in the back. All sorts of things going on. We might move that a little bit later, but that will do for now to increase the well-being. I tell you what, I'm going to place a couple more of these down and we're going to hit the very next target as well, which is great. Um, I do like these medium density houses, sort of places like this, backing onto, backing onto buildings like that. I'm going to do what I did before. We're not going to get one in there. We're going to get one here. And these do come in different sizes. So I'm going to do that. Then we can get the end one. And then I'm going to do the same all the way down here. It was three, wasn't it? Yep. And then we'll do the end one and then we'll sort of fill all of this in and we'll get those building up as well. There we go, and we need a few more shops, so I'm going to do the same over here. We're going to get them backing off, um, not the main road, but backing onto that road there. And we'll take up all of that space. Probably going to put some sort of path over there at some point. And I think, how far away are we on here? Oh, I bet I could hit that milestone. Let's pop in some waste management, because we're going to need that very soon. Oh, I don't really want to spoil the vista there, but I'm thinking... A little spot over here we might be able to work with that oh and while i was doing that we've hit large village so let's have a quick look what we're going to get there so now we've got service budgets which is great farming stone mining fire and rescue all sorts of other options available we've now got four points available to us oh man there's so many different options that we can go for i'm gonna hang on to those points for now so we can unlock more things a little later on and also a little bit of cut and fill road action there i thought i'd pop that in if you get the the heights of the terrain uh one higher one lower and draw a road you get this automatic key wall that's added in which is the effect that i wanted along here once we've unlocked those roads so for this video i'm allowed to go up to grand village so i'm going to continue building until i unlock that because there's some real goodies that i want to show you in here just a little quick tip on the taxation you can directly affect your demand so if you didn't want to put any more industry in for whatever reasons or you wanted more if you up the tax rate just keep your eye on that industry you can see it's dropping down or if you want to 
go the other way. You can encourage more to come in. You can even, even subsidize uh, certain things. But I'm going to just pop this up to 12, which I think maybe even 13. Drop it down a bit. That's fine. Uh, residential, we can pop that up. We're getting loads of demand for low residential. And you can, of course, adjust these via education level. Not going to dive that deep this time. And look, even at 15, 16%, there's still demand. Uh, commercial, there's no demand at the moment. We've got lots of commercial everywhere, so I'm going to pump that up as well. And then services, I've dropped down the school. We've got ah, so many places for schools. I've just dropped that down a bit to 70%, and we're back to making money again. No animated firefighters just yet, but through the magic of Wi-Fi, they're going to leave before the fire's out. Great job. Thank you very much. Oh, there you go. You're getting a little bit closer. All right, we'll let you off. Where the heck are you going? He's like really getting in there, making sure that everybody's safe. <laughs> Fire is really out. Love it. So while we're waiting for the last few XP, I am going to unlock parking areas. So let's just take a look at that. There we go. Excellent. And we jump into our road tab. We now have a parking tab with all sorts of options. Small, medium, large, very large, and overground parking as well. Oh, we're so close. One more teeny tiny little car park. And there we go. Milestone four unlocked. Fantastic. So we can't go any further, but I can show you what's in here and we can set up some of these things. So we get an increased loan limit, which we're not taking because we know how to make money in this game. The district creation tool, which works the same way with our little lines. There we go. Excellent. So we can pop this in. This is a very bad district because it barely takes in anything. Then we've got our production panel, which I really want to look at. Policies, natural disasters are going to start now. Transportation overview. And then we've got all of these extra things here to do with buses and parks. And oh yeah, so many things. I can't fit it all in within half an hour. But we do have options for buses and taxis. We do have access to these parks now, which are really cool. I will plop some of those around. But I want to take a look at, oh yeah, transportation overview. We have none, which is fantastic. All cargo, we haven't unlocked that one yet. But yeah, let's have a look at the production panel. So we're going to look at the top here. We've got a big deficit of grain. So that means we're importing it from outside the city, which is going to cost us a lot of money. Also chickens as well. Carrots, I'm not sure we've unlocked those yet. Um, and why are those so important? If we look down here at material goods and scroll down, we are going to be importing convenience food and food. So convenience food here, as you can see on the right, is made from grain or chicken. It doesn't. It isn't both. It's one or the other. And we know we've got a huge deficit of some of those because we're importing it in and making the convenience food. And then also food, which I'm assuming is a better type of food, needs carrots and chicken. And we've got a huge deficit in those as well. So those items we need to do something about. And I've just prepared this little spot of land over here. Because if we pop into our zones and our specialised industry, we now have livestock, grain, don't have vegetables yet, don't have cotton yet. We've got forestry and stone so this has to be placed anywhere this one has or that can be placed anywhere this has to be placed on fertile land and we have fertile land set up here so i'm going to just draw out some of these oh just unlocked a dairy house we'll take a look at that in a second but what i'm doing here is just filling in the spaces that we've got so let's have a look at that new signature building that we've just unlocked what does that give us plus two industrial efficiency citywide plus two export profit citywide. So now we're starting to make our own items. Having that bonus is fantastic. Oh, there we go. So just adding in some of those signature buildings amongst your farms or other areas where they're suited really can make a big difference to your city. So knowing what these are and having a little pop up there and what you need to work towards them. So for this one, you need 10 forestry area hub buildings can really give you something to aim for and then these will have bonuses as well which is fantastic quick look at our production tab we did have a deficit of like 56 tons this has been fluctuating it was down to 20 a minute ago but definitely heading in the right direction yeah you can see how that works and our money is going up So I spent an hour or so decorating, placing parks, trees, bushes, paths and more to make our build look even more beautiful. 
The shots you're seeing now are made using the in-game cinematic camera and photo mode. More details in what looks like it's going to be the very last Dev Diary deep dive coming this Monday. So be sure you're subscribed now and be here for that. There will be more pre-release City Skylines 2 content very soon. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.